What happened at the Capitol on January 6th is absolutely horrific. But what happened at the Capitol during this trial was uh, not too far away from that. The prosecutors in this case doctored evidence. They did not investigate this case, and when they had to come uh, to the court of the Senate to put their case on, because they hadn't done any investigation, they doctored evidence. It was absolutely shocking, I think, uh, when, uh, when we discovered it and we were able to expose it and put it out. Uh, I think it turned a lot of senators. The American people should not be putting up with this. They need to look at who, uh, who these House managers were uh, and look to see whether these are the folks they want representing them. It was, abs it was shocking to me. Wouldn't have believed it. Uh Let's follow up with uh, with a point that you're making right now about the House managers, as you say, doctoring evidence and uh, and the argument. They didn't, de uh, they didn't to be deny clear for it. Our viewers, they didn't deny it. Uh, to I be put it in front of them to be three clear times. For our viewers, wh what you're what you're talking about now is is a check mark. Uh, that's a verification on Twitter that that did not exist on that particular tweet. Uh, a 2020 that should have actually read 2021, um, and the selective editing, you say, of, of the tapes. Is that how, wait, is wait, that wait, the doctored evidence wait, 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 of what you're speaking? Wait. That's not enough for you? That's not enough for you? No, I'm, I, 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 wait, 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 no, sir, no, no. I'm trying, listen, I, I am not a listen. juror in this trial. That's, what I'm trying to be all, clear for our viewers is what, you, actually, is what you're we, referring we found, to, because no, no, not everybody no, has found, been following. It's not okay no, not everybody, to doctor sir, a little bit of evidence. Respectfully. respectfully. I have not, not said it is. Question, I have not said it is okay. Ma'am, your question is I want turned. to be clear for our viewers. Listen, what has to happen is I want to be clear for our viewers about what exactly you're saying when you say doctored evidence. The media has to start telling the right story in this country. Look, I agree that doctoring evidence is messed up and media should be really calling this stuff out. Okay, if they're supposed to be so balanced and impartial, but uh, they're not doing that. Having said that, this guy is seriously triggered over microaggressions. You can see that she were here, that she was just trying to get more specific so the audience watching would understand what he's talking about, you know, but, but he wasn't having any of it, you know, he didn't even give her a chance to say whether she thought it was valid or not. The media is trying to divide this country. He's right. The media is trying to divide the country. You are bloodthirsty for ratings, and as such, you're asking questions now that are already uh, uh, set up with a fact pattern. I can't believe you would ask me a question indicating that it's all right just to doctor a little bit of evidence. She wasn't suggesting that, but that doesn't mean that he hasn't made a few good points here and there, and will continue to. There's more stuff that we uncovered that they doctored to be frank with you, and perhaps that will come out one day. But we won this case, and I'm not a sore loser, but what happened, or a sore winner, I should say, but what should happen is somebody should look at the conduct of these house managers. It, it, it's unconscionable, aside from all of the due process violations that my client had. And the media should be looking that at a square, straight way. A straight way. When I watch the news, I watch one station and it's raining. I watch another station at the same time and it's sunny. Man, that was such a rotten analogy. I mean, I understand what he's saying, but I mean, you could be watching news talking about weather from different parts of the country, but, uh, you know, maybe it should go more into, you know, how Fox News will say, oh, these riots, they're they're destroying the city. The city is burning down. And then you have CNN saying, oh, mostly peaceful protests. Right. So, I mean, there could have been a better analogy made, but whatever. Or example, I should say, made. He could have actually given real life examples and, you know, it would have been a lot better than the weather. Your coverage is so slanted, it's got to stop. You guys have to stop and start reporting more like PBS does. I must admit, it kind of surprised me to hear him say something positive about PBS. Rather than uh, 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 
a TV news show that doesn't have any journalistic integrity at all. What I'm telling you is that they doctored evidence. And I believe your question says, well, it's only a Twitter check and, a, and changing a year of a date here. They switched the date of a Twitter a year to try to connect it to this case. That's not a small thing, ma'am. The other thing they did is they put Sorry. a check mark on something to, to make it look like it was a validated account when it wasn't. And when they were caught, they didn't say anything about it. They didn't even try to come up with an excuse about it. And that's not the way our prosecutors or our government officials should be conducting themselves. And the media shouldn't be letting them get away with it either. I'm tired of the biased media on both sides, left and right. What this country wants, what this country needs, is this country to come together, to take the left and the right and find a middle ground and start responsibly being our public officials, our elected officials. Well, I certainly didn't see anyone trying to bring unity in the past four years. Not the Trump administration, not the Democrats, and certainly not the media. And, the new, and the re, one of the reasons why they do it is because of the media. Because the media wants to tell their narrative rather than just telling it like it is. And frankly, I'm tired of it. I'm not a media. I'm not in front of your cameras all the time. Uh, but what right. I've been subjected Sir, I, I, to this I last week. I understand. Yeah. And I've given you, you the opportunity. You don't want to hear the truth. Yeah. Mainstream media really is all about ratings and viewership. They're willing to do anything to make a buck. They're willing to pit society against each other to make a buck. It's pathetic. It's disgusting. Okay. I've given you the opportunity. I, I will remind you that what I said was that for our viewers who have not been following all of the hours of of this trial, mm -hmm. to be clear about what you what you are speaking about, and I understand I'm speaking that about you seem the House manager's upset. failure to prove their case. That's that, that's what I'm telling and you. They you weren't able to prove their the case. Acquittal. You have won the acquittal of your client. Yes, and if you'd I like did. to continue to talk about this conversation, we can have that discussion. I don't need but, to. Uh, but for me to ask a question, a, 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 slant, to a slanted for question, viewers, a slanted question that was set up question. to say it's okay for them to cheat. That was your question. Isn't it okay for that. them to cheat? I didn't it's say just that. a little bit. You no. said, to be fair, it was it's only fine. a check on the Twitter. Not, That's what you said. You got to live by your words. I, uh, That's I, the problem. The media has to start living by the truth and not try to right. create a narrative. Michael Vanderveen, yep. thank you for Citizen. joining us. I, I do appreciate. Yep. Okay. I, I, I see you taking off your microphone now. That was President Trump's defense attorney, Michael Vanderveen. Well, I mean, again, she didn't really say that, but uh, it was a segue for him to talk about mainstream media. And, you know, I think this sort of thing needs to be talked about more. But, but the truth of the matter is he got triggered over a microaggression. And this is how so many people on the right are acting lately. It's somewhat similar to how people talk about the subject of people being banned and censored on big tech platforms. It's like, no, they're not coming after you for simply having conservative views. Not unless the new definition of conservative actually means that you have hatred towards and or don't accept that LGBT people exist. And or you believe in a whole slew of different dangerous conspiracy theories or disinformation campaigns. And or you have a really negative attitude about immigrants in general, but especially towards illegal immigrants who you like to label as being, you know, mostly violent criminals and that they're deplorable people. And or you have a negative attitude towards black people as if they're less intelligent and deserve less empathy. And or you think that the only real news comes from discredited and dubious sources. Yeah, if that's the new definition of conservatism, then I guess you are being targeted. And not unjustly either. I don't think censorship is the right answer, I've said that before. But if they're going to have rules about hateful speech and misinformation and disinformation, then these companies appear to be trying to do their jobs. 
if this disproportionately affects conservatives more than liberals, maybe conservatives have a lot of introspection to do. You know, the very thing that you demand that the left does. It's probably not going to happen on either side, though. I mean, if you can show me some examples of people being censored and banned off of these platforms for just saying things that are truly just conservative viewpoints and not the examples I brought up earlier, then I'll be willing to listen. I know that Twitter has sort of a hairline trigger for that sort of thing, so I do expect that if people bring up examples, it'll probably be from Twitter. But I don't imagine you'll be able to give me any examples of, like, YouTube doing this. Not for just being conservative. Again, unless the new definition of conservative are the things that I mentioned earlier. Now, I'm betting there's going to be people that will be asking, oh, well, who gets to decide what is misinformation and disinformation? Well, that's kind of easy. People who have researched this subject and find there to be no credible sources for those kinds of viewpoints. It's not hard, really. It's easy, for instance, to disprove some of the claims made in some of these tabloid newspaper magazines that you find at the checkout stand. You know, it's easy to disprove the notion that you can get AIDS from touching someone who has HIV. It's easy to disprove the notion that vaccines are just a conspiracy to control the population. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And extraordinary claims made without evidence at all should be able to be dismissed without any evidence at all. Outrageous things that have no evidence except from dubious sources should be able to be dismissed quickly. And then I'm betting you'll say, oh, well, what are dubious sources? Well, sources that regularly put out lies and misinformation. Things that you can look up and easily find out, hey, that's just not true. If these types of websites or news sources constantly put out stuff that's just not true, then... You know, if they're the, the actual source, then no, they're, it's dubious. There has to be some other source. And I don't care how many people believe something. That doesn't make it true. Just like I don't care how many people are part of a cult following. It's not going to make me want to join that cult. No matter how good it would feel to my tribalistic tendencies, to everyone's tribalistic tendencies. Anyway, I don't know what really more to say right now, so thanks for watching.